Welcome back, everybody. Vanda Tessalata Black? Huh. Never mind. She's pretty. But black? I'm not so sure. It could be me that's confused and colorblind. But whatever she is, she is very, very pretty. I just don't think she's a Tessalata Black. But because she is so gorgeous, I dedicate these blooms to all of you that are watching this video. I always say these are for my subscribers, so yes, they are for my subscribers. The present ones, past ones, future ones, everybody who watches this video, I dedicate this bloom spike of my supposed Manda Tessalata Black. The pictures that I saw do not show any of these characteristics. First of all, much, much darker and much more maroon, supposedly. But anyway, it looks orange on the camera, but actually she has a beige, like a safari beige coloring and has a jasmine-y, very light jasmine fragrance. So it's not too much of a disappointment. It's a surprise. It's a surprise, but it's not disappointing. Pointing. I don't know at this moment what to think. Hmm. You see how dark the buds are? Yeah. So, everybody, welcome to this episode of Blooms for You. A little bit of a longer introduction, simply because I thought I needed to explain this. <laughs> Maybe the vendor can explain this. Anywho, let's have a look and see what else is currently in bloom or has bloomed and who has these blooms dedicated to them. One bloom is all we need in order to say thank you. And this one bloom goes to Nilambara Malik. Long time ago I saw a comment of yours on my channel. So here she is, my Catlia Siamese doll Kiwi. That's all I need. I would have loved to have had four, but for some reason I wasn't paying attention and unfortunately I lost some buds to some, I don't know, some, some pests that thought they needed them more than I did. But we have one, Nilambara, and I hope that you like my little Siamese doll Kiwi. Look at her foliage. Look at those leaves all those freckles and this spotted bloom she smells very intense up until about 4 p.m. then she doesn't have a fragrance anymore but she has a fragrance that is extremely extremely strong just the one bloom fills my blooming alley area has a, well it's always a bit sweet and very floral but also if you would think smell of bubble gum that's her smell. So Nilambara, I hope that you see this video and know that I appreciate you being on my channel. Thank you ever so much. There's a lady on YouTube that has the most gorgeous, gorgeous cat leas out there. Blanca Acosta. I thought that when this Lelia purpurata, Verkhoiserii estriata, bloomed, I thought that you might actually really enjoy having her dedicated to you as a thank you for your comments, your encouraging words on my itty bitty little channel. I really appreciate you watching my videos and being so encouraging. It motivates me a lot. I love your channel. I love your sense of humor and that pergola, yes, that's Catlia and orchid growing goals, maybe one day. But in the meantime, I would like to give these Lelia purpurata blooms to you, Blanca, for being so supportive. Look how gorgeous she is. And I hope that the camera picks up the sparkles because she does have the crystalline textures and she has a gorgeous throat. 
It's a little bit more on the pinky side that you can see here. The actual colors are a little bit more mauve and a dark mauve lavender. But needless to say, I think that the camera is doing a great job to somehow replicate the beauty of what I see here in natural format. She has a wonderful smell. It's not as heady as the Lelia Purpurata Weckhäuserei, but it's still there with a cream, sort of a cream lemon. If you think lemon curd or something like that, that is her fragrance. So Blanca, thank you ever, ever so much. It means a lot that you would take the time to watch my videos and then leave a comment. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate subscribers that do my homework for me so I can dedicate this Phalaenopsis Tabasco text, second bloom to Carol Seelman. I don't mind the Tabasco part of it. I actually prefer it because it does match. It is a very, very heady and how should I say? It's a very sweet, like Skittles fragrance, but I always have the hint of spice, something spicy like chili in the background. So Tabasco Tex is perfect for me. And the second bloom goes to Carol Seelman who I appreciate very much for leaving a comment in the very early days of my channel. So Carol, if you're still around and see this video, know that you are very much appreciated and know that, well, small channels, all the comments, they feel so good. They're very motivating. And even if the questions are asked, it's wonderful to be able to share the little bit of knowledge and pass it on. Carol, I really appreciate having you. And this little Tabasco Tex Bloom, the second one is here for you. Now, as we move forward, we already had a one bloom dedication, but I would like to reach as many subscribers as I possibly can. But she's starting to look really, really pretty as she opens her blooms one after the other. Because of the fact they are long lasting, we might even get to see the third bud open and still have these two blooms to enjoy. Carol, thank you ever so much. And let me know in the comments when you see this video if you like her. I hope you have a wonderful day. We have a straggler spike. Oh, and I'm so happy. I am so happy because that in the beginning, early days when I was giving these blooms away to my subscriber, the huge bloom show that my Dendrobium berry odor bestowed upon me was given to all of my subscribers. And it's actually really nice to have a little spike with beautiful blooms that smell of candy floss to dedicate to you, Danny C. So I hope that you see this video and that she has come up with a single spike just so that I can give them away, which is so appreciated. And you're appreciated, Danny. Thank you very, very much for being on my channel. Thank you for your comments. And look, she's already fading. That was fast. Because I wanted to wait until the buds opened, all of them, but this is going to be, this will have to be filmed very quickly. I guess when it's warm, the blooms don't last as long. But she's a busy, busy dendrobium. She is growing new growth on the bottom, getting ready for next year's show. Awesome. Danny C, thank you so very much for being on my channel. I really appreciate it. What do you say to this trio, Margaret Boone? I know that you were with me very early days. You left a comment, which I immediately wrote your name down. 
I hope you're still around and that you see this video. This is the third spike opening on my so far Epidendrum No ID, and it's a trio. So I'm really, really happy to be able to give these to you, Margaret. I hope that you see this video because I do appreciate everybody that jumped on so very early on. I really do. And I want to give this back and express how much it means to me. So Margaret Boone, let me just tell you that this one has a very, very beautiful lemony fragrance and it's not nocturnal. The fragrance is actually very, very detectable during the daytime hours. And it's, that lemony is very, very welcome and refreshing in this warm, warm summer climate. So just to give you a heads up, Margaret, thank you so much for being with me, for supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Do we have to whisper? <laughs> nah, we won't have to whisper. Not around Neo Phoenicia Fakata Shutano. Look at this, Patty Parker. These two spikes had been tagged for you for quite some time now. And look, aren't they gorgeous? Sorry about that. <clears throat> Hello, Patty. Let's get down to being a little bit more serious and let's. Uh, Oh, forget it. <laughs> Patty Parker. This is my new Phoenicia Falcata Shutano with two wonderful spikes, as you can see. And those spurs being so pink. And they're sort of washed out halfway through. And those spikes so dark, dark ruby. Look at that. Patty Parker. This is not about just the Neo Fakata shoot to know. This is about a very huge, massive thank you to you for supporting my channel and being here so early, early on. I really appreciate it. But let me just tell you about her fragrance. So there's this light, light lemon citrus fragrance. Of course, if there's more sun hitting her, then the fragrance becomes more intense. But it's not necessarily stronger at any given time of day. So there's a slight fragrance all throughout. Gorgeous fresh lemon and gorgeous blooms. I'm sorry, I have to. <laughs> Patty, thank you ever, ever so much. Your support is very much appreciated. And I do sincerely hope that you see this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. I am holding as still as possible. This has got to be one of the hardest orchids to film and get into focus. But I'm gonna give it a go. This is the Dendrobium unicum, the one that has the snapped cane. Can you see how it's hard finding it difficult to capture the color of this orange? Let me see if I can do this justice because Orchid Delirium, I've left my unicum to bloom for you. You have one as well, both of us. I think we got them at a similar time. And this is the snap cane, but uh, it decided to bloom. And I thought, wow, when I saw you unbox yours, I'm like, okay, I wanted keikis because I wanted more of the same, but I'm letting this bloom because I needed to A, see these blooms. And secondly, to thank you for supporting my channel, for being such a good friend here cheering me up with great comments. I love it. Thank you so much. And I think I'm failing miserably in capturing these blooms. So trust me when people say you need to see them in real life in order to appreciate them, it's well, it's because I'm finding it difficult to, to, to film them. The orange is so, so intense. 
And I call them my little curly whirlies because of the way the sepals and petals curl back. I absolutely adore these. The minute they open up, they curl all the way back. And there's my little faithful wasp again. Hello. Yeah, he knows what's good. He knows what's good. Anyway, I really, really hope that I'm getting these in focus to some degree so that we can appreciate how gorgeous they are, how unique they are, and Orchidelirium. Thank you ever, ever so much for your support. I really, really appreciate having you on my channel. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you on your next video. So here are the first two spikes of my Epidendrum lancifolium opening up. Or is it the Prostechia lancifolium now? Or is it the Panarica lancifolium? I guess you know where I'm going with this because Michael McCarthy, no other orchid that I currently have in bloom, I find more fitting than to dedicate this blooming to you. Based on the fact that my Brassavole and my Ionocentra are now correctly identified. Finally, I got to getting the spelling correct on Prostechia. What a muddle that was in my head. And then your fantastic informative comment goes and says, it's a Panarica. And I'm like, yes, I can do Panarica. That makes perfect sense. So thank you very much. But uh, Michael, Thank you also for your very generous, informative sharing of your knowledge. I really appreciate it. Your comments are always so thought-provoking and I, I love that. So thank you. I really appreciate having you on my channel. Can I say keep them coming? <laughs> but this lancifolium, whatever it is, it is a lancifolium. And it is my species, the one, the only one I had that would be considered anything Prostechia or Panarica prior to my Ionocentra and Brassavole. Look at it. The blooms aren't very big, but I'm telling you, they are potent in their fragrance. Honey, thick molasses honey. It's very, very heady. I. I quite frankly enjoy the fragrance. I don't have to even put my nose in it to smell it, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous and gorgeous. So I have one more spike to come, but Michael McCarthy, these two spikes here, they bloom for you as a thank you for sharing all that information that you have so generously and I really appreciate it. So I brought her out into the sun to give you another perspective of the blooms with the sun shining on them. She certainly has her quirks, I would say. I'm still not entirely sure. A first time bloomer can do some really strange things. Maybe it's that, I don't know. But as you can see in the sun, she almost has like a buttery yellow now and that is pretty much a true color now you can see that and then the youngest bloom has that beige tinge to it and then it just goes into a little buttery yellow very very strange but then again not entirely unpleasant not entirely unpleasant thank you everybody so much for watching I really appreciate having you here it's a gorgeous time of year and there's a lot going on so I appreciate having your company. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.